Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the voice isolation and noise removal features in Final Cut Pro for iPad. So I found a busy car park right by a road. So we've got plenty of noise and we're right on the flight path and we've got a plane going overhead right now. So let's record a bit of audio. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is open up the inspector. Then we want to tap the little audio symbol at the top. And let's try the noise removal first. So let's switch that on with the toggle switch there. Okay, that's at 50%. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. Okay, that didn't really do much. Let's put it up to 100%. See how that sounds. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? That seemed to add a lot of artifacts and reduce the quality quite a lot. Let's turn that off and try the voice isolation. This is at 50%. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? Adding a lot of artifacts and crushing the low frequencies. Let's put it on 100%. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? Okay, so even worse at 100%, really crushing those low frequencies there. Let's try it on about 70%. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? Still cutting out a lot of those low frequencies there. Let's try the noise removal and voice isolation together. And put the noise removal up to 100%. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? Okay, that sounds really bad. Let's put the voice isolation down to 50%. In fact, let's put them both on 50%. Okay, so this is the voice isolation noise reduction feature in Final Cut Pro. How does this sound? Okay, so overall, I'd say I'm pretty disappointed with that. Obviously, it's going to work differently with different clips, different audio recorded in different environments. But overall, that is not the result I was expecting from this. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.